The world seems to have an insatiable appetite for oil, electricity, and natural gas. But now, due to energy costs and global warming, scientists are looking to the wind, sun, and agricultural products to power our future. According to some researchers, wind power is becoming a more viable energy source. I think the past perception was that wind energy was nice, but not a real solution.、Uh, that. Perception is changing. I see wind energy getting more and more competitive. At the National Renewable Energy Laboratory in Golden, Colorado, discovering alternative power sources that are competitive with fossil fuels has been a mission of scientists since the U.S. energy crisis of the 1970s. Scientists here also create solar cells that are far more efficient than those currently available to the public. They believe that the market for this technology is about to increase significantly. Recent polls have shown that about 75 percent of the population would. Favor the use of solar power, clean power, and、uh, would like to see more of it happening. Solar power has been around for centuries, but while the public says they like the idea of harnessing solar power and incorporating it into their daily lives, the reality for many seems to be that it's something reserved for the future, not now. Sometimes you know you worry that they think that this is only a fringe, but it's not. Photovoltaic solar electricity is becoming a technology that that is becoming cost-effective for us as consumers in the United States. In many people's opinions, it often takes a crisis for things to change. When your electricity doesn't come on in California, you start looking very, very quickly. For some, home use of solar power is now becoming more than just an abstract idea. When Jonathan Sawyer's solar electric system was first installed, it was believed to be the largest residential solar system in the United States. This is likely due to the fact that solar power had not been widely promoted at the time. It's so efficient that he actually sells electricity back to his local power company. I also feel good because I, I've always. Been committed about the environment and doing something, and we have to start as individuals to do things. But individuals can only do so much. Researchers claim that for renewable energy to truly make a difference, it must be used on a large scale. This is a solar concentrator. The mirrors focus the sun's rays into a narrow beam, which turns an engine and provides electricity. Have to get in the backyard, sure, but a power company could probably find a place for it. The United States and other countries often lacked a great sense of urgency to find energy alternatives. For decades, gasoline prices had been kept low with government subsidies, so people continued driving large cars, usually alone. Nowadays, gasoline costs are higher, which has enhanced the need to find something else to fuel all those vehicles. What's in there now is material that looks like straw or. And it's actually the material that farmers just leave sitting on the ground after they go through and they harvest corn. We're trying to get farmers to collect this material so that we can run it through conversion technology to make new liquid fuels. Since the energy crisis of the 1970s, many farmers have been turning food into fuel by using grains like corn to create ethanol. But recently, some of the emphasis on making fuel has been moving away from the grain itself to the stalks and stubble left on the ground after the harvest. The cellulose that's in here that actually is made up of sugars is something that they can turn into ethanol in the same way that they're currently taking their corn. Grain and having it turned into fuel-grade ethanol. The National Renewable Energy Laboratory has a manufacturing area that is capable of converting harvest leftovers and just about anything else into fuel. What are some of these other materials here? Well, well some, we some of these, like this, for example, is is a, a wood material. Proving that sustainable energy technology is actually viable remains a struggle, at least in the United States. Wind turbines, which were pioneered in the United States, are now being used by several countries in Europe to supply meaningful amounts of power.、Uh, the cost of energy in the United States is so low、uh, compared to Europe that、uh, our industry is, has had a harder time competing with fossil fuels. The cost of fuel in many countries has increased significantly over the past few years. While it has caused hardship for many, this cost increase may also increase the urgency to find reliable. Fossil fuel alternatives and thereby reduce the greenhouse gases that cause global warming. The time for alternative energy may have arrived, and for those who use it, the future may be now.